Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, in this exercise, exercise number eight, for practicing using solid edge, we will learn some other. Uh, this is more a practicing what solid edge. So this way we'll learn more about extrusion and uh, threads and uh, holes and uh, uh, V notch and uh, and some other items. Uh, as you can see from this shape here. We're going to use the symmetry, it is symmetric about the uh, right plane and the uh, front plane. Uh, so this way I'm going to use the symmetry to start my drawing and mainly I'm going to start with the front view. Why I'm starting with the front view? Because I can see that I can sketch, it, it has the most feature of the, of the part. So this way I can start by a rectangular by center 18 by 92 so I draw the bottom part and then the top part is a 12 by 72 on top of it and they are symmetric about the uh, right uh, plane so let's go to solid edge and start the session for today Uh, in solid edge, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to start by uh, rectangle by center, and I'm going to have the first one which is 18 by you know, width 18. No, the width is 92 by 18. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lock myself to the front view. And then I got that. And then I'm, let's go to the front view and come to the center of the uh, come to the current axis and put the rectangle in the center. So I'm going to click here. So this way I created the first uh, rectangle. So let's uh, get the dimensions. Make sure that this is 18. It is 18, and the other one is 92 very good now let's start with the second rectangle which will be 12 by 72 so i'm gonna go again rectangle by center 72 enter and Now I'm going to bring it and I need to put it exactly in the center. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the center line. And when you see the dashed line means that I'm located with the center line. And when it touch the other one, I'm going to click. So let's make sure that it is the, exactly in the center. So what we can do, just let's get the dimension first. So this is, should be 72. It is. And this should be 12. And the distance from here to the edge here is 10. That's good. Good. Okay, so we succeeded in that. Let me just do something else. I would like to connect the line here with this line. Okay, so it is connected that one. So, let's, so since I'm locked to the plane, the front view, I can use a quick trim. So let me go to quick trim. I'm going to click this one. That's good. So I don't need this one anymore. Okay. Very good. Now let's start with the circles. So I have a, a circle by center. The first circle is uh, 16. And I'm going to put it at any point I want here, somewhere here. And get the second circle, which is 28. And highlight the circle so I can put it concentric with it. Now, the, the distance between from the center of the circle to the, uh, to the center here, this should be 16. So I'm going to put 16 here. So 16. Very good, okay. 
Now let's use the trim command. Get rid of this part and get rid of this part. Okay, very good. Now let's do what <clears throat> the mirror. So I'm gonna select these two half circles and choose the mirror. And I'm gonna make a mirror around the Z axis. So I created the same, I repeated it. And the only thing I don't see that is is not connected here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to here connect. What is this called? This is what the connection. Connect. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is say okay, connect the edge here to this line. Very good. The edge here to this line and the edge here to this line and the edge here. Very good. So now, if I use the trim, this part will be gone. Now I need to have a line tangent to this circle, or this half circle and tangent to this one, and at the middle. Okay, very good. Now I can go back again to the trim and to get rid of this one to we'll have this. One. Okay. <coughs> So that's good. So now what left now I need to put the support here, which is what? The 16 here. Okay. So I'm gonna put the 16. Uh, how how long it is? So let's see. I need to have it till the bottom here. So what I'm gonna do is just like add 16 and there this is about 18. So at least if I say 16 by 40 would be more than enough, and then I can trim the the extra. The, the extra. So I'm going to say, okay, I need rectangle by center. And the width is 16. And I'm going to put 40. And come here exactly in the center here. And click. Very good. So now let's use the trim. I'm going to trim this one, trim this one, trim these two, and trim this one. Very good, and trim this one. Very good. So now I created the shape. Now I need to do the, the V groove. The V groove is so straightforward. So what you can do, I'm going to get a line. And this line, I'm going to give it any length. Just let me put 10, and then we can correct it. 10, okay, and the angle is 45. Okay, so now I'm gonna put any place I want here, somewhere here. Leave it there, okay. Now, and I uh, get another line from the tip here, and I'm gonna go horizontal to the middle of the shape. Very good. Now, good now let's correct the dimension. Now I need to have the distance from the tip of the line here to the edge should be 21. So I'm going to correct it to 21. Now the line here, I'm going to highlight the line. The angle should be 45, so I'm going to put 45. Okay. And another thing is what? The distance from this line to this line is 4 millimeters, so let's get it here. Very good. So I was able to create half of the V group. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the mirror command. I'm going to highlight this thing here. I'm going to say mirror. And I need this mirror about the Z axis. Now I created the other half of it. Okay, the only thing left now is just to connect it to the line. So what I'm going to do, I need to have this line intersect with this line so I can see the X. And I need the end of this line 
I got to see if you can do this now. Yeah, okay, just this one. Thank you. And to see if you have this line. And to see if you can do this one. Okay. Now let's get the trim. So, very good. Okay. So now I was able to get the shape and the features and everything. The only thing left will be the pole, so we'll put it after we do the extrusion. Now what I'm going to do now is go to the home and start doing the extrusion. So what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter which way you start, but sometimes I'm going to show you something. Okay, but let's see first how it's going to end up. So I'm going to go to the extrusion. I'm going to highlight. This one first, okay, should be symmetry, and this one should be how much? <clears throat> uh, two, 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 44. So I'm gonna put 44. We notice always when we are using synchronous, that's why that the, the, most of the sketches they disappear. So to do the other extrusion, we have to rebring these sketches back. So the way to do it, just you click on that, use the sketches. Click on the sketch, right click, and say restore. So this will bring me the uh, sketch back. So this way I can do the other extrusion. So now I can do the other two extrusions at the side. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just to highlight, just to see the select, just highlight this one. And with the shift key, highlight the other one. And we click on the arrow. And I need to have this one how much? 32 distance 32 70. okay so actually I was able to create the drawing I want this is a whole drawing the only thing left is there's just to make the holes okay the threads the hole in the top of the surface okay so now <clears throat> once we're done with this one let me just do some appealing so now I'm gonna go to part printer uh, this is out of chrome so chrome Okay, so I like this one. So now it is made of foam, uh, the material. And also for view override, I need the light to be like 50% uh, instead of 20. So what I'm going to do is just make it 50% and say okay. So now it will look much better. Okay. So we're done with the shape. Now this the next step is to make the holes. Now to get the holes, I'm going to uh, go to the okay. Let me go back to the home. I'm going to circle by center. I'm um, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let me do it this way. Circle by center. Okay. And this circle is going to be. I use four millimeter just to do the locations, and then uh, we'll find out where it is. There. Now let me go to the top. Okay, so it is four. Okay, now I need to lock myself to the surface here. So I'm going to click on the surface. So now I lock myself to the top surface. Now I need to do <coughs> where I need to do it with the same center line here. So I'm going to click anywhere and then I'm going to correct the dimension. The dimension is how far is 12 from the edge here. So when they say, okay, X from the center from the surface here to the center of the circle, I want this to be 12. 12. And okay, so I was able to get the circle. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight the circle and use the mirror and create another one to the other side. So we get the other one here to the other side. And then I'm going to click about the Y axis. And then I get another one here. And then click about the X axis. So I get the fourth one here. Okay. That's good. Good. Now let's go back again. Circle by center. And the diameter is 4 millimeter. Again. I need to go to the center line of this top here. So go down. Actually, it should be with this line here. So I'm going to highlight this line and highlight the center line here. So now I can be in the exact limit. So it should be worth five. So I now 
as you see that I, the dashed line here and dashed line it means that this circle exactly on the same line here and on the same center line here so now here you don't need to measure anything so but okay let me make sure that the dimensions are correct or the location are correct so now we we'll just click here and click here okay so this is about eight yeah this is the right dimension eight and let me get this one here to the top here and this should be six yeah it is six okay now we're gonna highlight select this circle and use mirror and get one about what the x axis so i create the other circle here. so now i succeeded to have the location of where the the, the, the threads and the hole with the threads and so on so i'm gonna go home and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just zoom to this area so i uh, Okay, here it is. That's good enough. So this is will cover all this. What happened to the circle here? Huh. Oh, hmm. Okay. So let me redo it then. Okay. So I'm gonna highlight this circle. Mirror about the exact scene so I was able to get it okay. there it is okay now let me go to the hole under hole I need to start the the, 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 the get the threads so I'm gonna use and instead of hole I'm gonna choose hole no, no, not thread okay because I, I didn't put all the, 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 the data the data I need. So I'm gonna go to hold, click on hold, and I show you how to do it. just click on this one to what to create to have the physical thread be appearing. Okay, so I'm gonna mm -hmm. click on this and give you an arrow, say yes, okay. And then click on the menu here. And then this menu, as you can see, make sure that you have the NC metric, it is a metric in the meter. The standard thread and the size I'm going to use four and a half point five. So this is four and a half millimeter thread, point five uh, thick, and so on. So with this one now, the distance here, the the distance of the hole, the deep the depth of the hole till the uh, before the V is eighteen. So I'm going to put here eighteen. So just eighteen here in this location. And uh, this finite extent, the finite extent of the thread is what is 16. So I'm going to put 16 here. Okay. Now we're going to get, uh, have a V bottom. That's fine. Uh, internal line. Okay. This is what we have. Okay. So since everything looks fine, once everything looks fine, what you can do either you want to save this as a default if you're going to use it uh, in a many times so you can save it as a default or just every time you can put your own data say okay once you say okay now it will come you see this this uh, hole with everything this is, has all the limits so what you can do is just i'm going to highlight the circle adjust the draw once you highlight it you go to the center and when you see uh, the concentric you click so now you created the whole the thread you highlight the circle go to the center when you see concentric you click good highlight the circle go to the center when you see concentric click you can move this one from the way highlight the circle go to the center when you see concentric click now let's do the last two highlight the circle go to the center and concentric click very good so let's go to the other the last circle highlight it go to the center center when you see concentric click otherwise it wouldn't be exactly in the center so i was able to create the center and the circle the threads 
and uh, okay. now everything is done now so what we're gonna do is just scale and let's go back to this so see what we have so it seems like everything looks fine so scale so we're able to do the part and uh, we are almost we are done the next step is just to do the draft sheet if you want the draft sheet uh, I uh, as a part as a wing just for for, for you uh, when I start my uh, exercise I I show you the draft sheet which is one in PDF this draft sheet here uh, if you want a copy of this one either you can freeze the the the, the, the YouTube and just to get a screenshot of it with the image or the other thing I'm gonna plan to have it ready on a, in a Google drive so this way anybody can download the, the draft sheet so you can want to practice with the dimensions and so on okay so let's go back here we are here so we are almost done we are done and another thing is just if you want to clean the stuff on the dimension what you can do is I'm going to just reduce the dimension and let's move it to the top so what I can do is just if you want to reduce it Okay, what you can do is just the uh, uncheck hide the design body. So if you hide the design, you click on the design body, you hide the design body. Now everything you draw here, you want to get rid of it. So this means that you can select it. It will be highlighted. Delete. So now you can delete everything. Now you bring back the design body we click and now we have the design body is done okay this will end our session for this exercise exercise number eight and uh, as i mentioned this is does not substitute for the the labs and the introduction to solid waste my suggestion to you just to start with the introduction to solid age introduction a and b and then do the labs and then after that you, you can start practice with these exercises and these practices I hope you like the video and please if you like the video uh, give me also your feedback if you like the video please subscribe to the channel click the bell and give it a thumbs up have a wonderful day and see you soon on another uh, exercise bye bye